Okay. question. We wanted to know if you would want a third. And when we asked, we had an overwhelming amount of yes, with people even throwing their own facts into the comment section. So, here we are. More random facts about Minecraft that you may or may not have known that might make you go, what? In this video, we're going to talk about some really strange ones, ranging from marketing, transportation, and more. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. shape or form usually have some kind of hidden feature or functionality. When your jukebox is playing music, carrots will dance. Like cows, you can melt a mushroom. But instead of using a bucket, you use bowls instead, being able to grab a mushroom stew. A lot of mobs have random pieces of functionality. But do you know that the Enderman has a weird functionality as well? We all know that you're scared at an Enderman. It'll freak out, go crazy, and well, It'll attack you. That is, if you're too quick anyways. Wanna always have the first hit on an Enderman? Here's a tip. Calm down. Seriously, just remain calm. Endermen are intimidating because of their inconsistent attack style and their ability to jump around seemingly at random. When you stare at an Enderman and they get angry at you, they can't move if you always keep eye contact. So if you want to at least have the upper hand, then don't break formation. Win that staring contest. You'll have to disappear in the daylight anyways, at least, right? Alternative to all of that, though, just don't stare at their faces. You can actually stare at the legs or the body of an Enderman. If you really wanted to steal a glance, I'd be more safe and look at their legs rather than the torso, but that one's really up to you. Either way, questions are certainly the safest option. As well as wearing them, Enderman really can't see you at all as long as you don't attack them. And while we're on the topic of weird mob mechanics, why in the world does all it take to stop most mobs from spawning in the game is a button or a pressure plate? Seriously, when a ravager wants to come into town, why should a car be able to stop it? Or a couple of buttons? Well, it's great for another highways. It's kind of shocking that that's all it takes to stop a couple of pigmen. Who knew? Speaking of another highways, though, did you know that you could save a bunch of ice? Like, a lot of it, if you're making a long pathway from one to the other. Well, when you make an ice cap for a boat that's two blocks wide, you would normally put down two blocks for every single step along your path. But maybe we shouldn't look at it that way. Because of the way that boats work with their hitbox, they can actually glide over the air, as you can see here. Ice blocks can be spaced out up to an entire block meaning that you can, in a path that would normally need 52 blocks of ice, 
can actually use only 13 block spikes. Staggering the ice in this manner, the boat floats right over, like it doesn't even need to account for the missing space. It's kind of awesome. If you're building a mammoth-sized path, it can save you a lot of resources. So, you're welcome. Have you ever thought that you were too weak in Minecraft? Do you lack the best skill in combat? Do you wish that there was a way for somebody else to just do all of the work of killing you for you without you having to do anything? Do you think I'm exaggerating? Well, I'm not. In a Reddit post made a few weeks ago, user Jason Snicky posted this having an iron farm also means having an army of hired goons, and to put it simply, they weren't wrong. Showing themselves making their way there in a cave surrounded by a group of iron golems, they absolutely destroyed the wither within seconds. Now, sure, they had over nine iron golems there, but the player didn't do anything other than grabbing the materials and putting them together. No more are the days of risking it all, chasing the wither down within the sky. Just plop down a bunch of iron golems in a cave, make the wither in a cave, and just go insane. If you're afraid to do that, though, you can at least scare your friends with your new iron golem crew. Punch it. Just punch it. I dare you. If you're not looking for brute strength, maybe you're looking for speed. If you're looking to find the quickest way to get around in Minecraft, there's actually a surprising amount of methods. As detailed in a Reddit post made by MTP for the win, they listed the fastest transportation methods in Minecraft, excluding the nether and potions. In their post, they stated that walking was 15.5 kilometers per hour, spring swimming was 20.1 kilometers per hour, and sprinting was 20.2 kilometers per hour. Minecraft could sell rails and boats to a Uh, 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 uh,
ได้เล่นได้เล่นบีเอส